This video is about a file called null, and it's in the dev directory. The purpose of this file is to be able to have a file that always stays empty. And this file can be used to direct output to or to get output from. Mainly it's used for eliminating output from commands. Okay, I believe that the greater than sign, which is used for redirection, directs all output from a command. When I say all output, that means both the standard error and standard out streams of a program. And the reason that I believe it redirects all output is because there is no other symbol that's used at the command line for redirecting the standard error separately. Okay, there are four different files I want to talk about, and they are all in the dev directory. I'm showing here screenshots from the dev directory. As you can see, there's the standard error file, and that file is actually a sim link to another location. And they specify the location here relatively. That's why there's no forward slash in the beginning. And I'll show you the listing for this number two file, the number zero file, and the number one file. Okay, so in the dev folder, you have these three sim links and you have the null. Null is actually, is not a sim link. It's actually the exact file type that those sim links point to for the standard error, standard output, and standard input. So basically all these files that we direct output to or from, they're type C. You'll always see a C here. Okay, now what's this C? Okay, now Unix file types. There's regular files, there's directories, and directories, you know, their listing starts with a D. There's sim links, they start with an L. Okay, and then there's device files. Those start with either a C or a B. The C stands for character device, and B stands for block device. But either way, they're just device files that take some kind of stream. And just the difference between the two is what type of stream it is. But that's not important. Okay, so, okay. Ultimately, standard error, all these standard stuff, and the null, they go to some kind of C type file, character device. Now, if you want to eliminate output, you would write a command that looks like this. I'll use the word count command as an example. Look at word count. Word count test dot sh, okay? This is what the output looks like. Now, if I want to run the word count command that I just ran, and I don't want it to have any output, then I would just direct the output as if I'm directing it to a file, and that file would be dev null. Okay, see the command ran, and there was no output. You want to always pretend that dev null is a file that always stays empty. You can use it to get input to a command or to put output from a command. Yeah, the fd is a directory. I think I already mentioned that. Okay, and here are the actual 0, 1, and 2 files that are character devices, just like the null is a character device. And these are actually where standard error, standard input, standard output exist.